Howdy, I'm Chavez Garza, and today we're going to be talking about pollination. My name is Sierra Lawless. My name is Michael Pinnell. And I'm Stephanie Rodriguez. The honeybee, Apis mellifera, is in the order Hymenoptera. It is a eusocial flying insect. It has a caste system of workers, drones, and a queen. They are the main pollinators in our ecosystem. According to the paper by Martins and Lecture, the leg is composed of the coxa, trochanter, femur, tibia, tarsus, which contain the tarsal claw. Each leg has a specialized function. In this video, we will be talking about the hind leg. The hind leg is composed of the coxa, trochanter, femur, and the pollen basket, which is the tibia, followed by the pollen press and the pollen brush, which is the base of tarsus, then the tarsal claw. The curricula is a pollen basket that helps accumulate and carry all the pollen from flower to flower and back to the hive. The pollen press helps compact all the pollen. The pollen brush is just an arrangement of CD that collects all the pollen. And now to Sierra to continue. This is a graph depicting crops, specifically in Texas, that rely heavily on pollination from the honeybee. According to the USDA, honeybee colonies are worth 100 times more to the community than the beekeepers themselves. Between $235 billion and $577 billion worth of annual global crop and food production relies on pollinators. $20 billion of this comes from honeybees themselves. In terms of agricultural economics, honeybees are the most valuable pollinators. Without them, yield for blueberries, almonds, squash, and watermelon would be drastically reduced, causing prices to rise. However, the absence of honeybees can often be detrimental. For example, in China, where um, there are limited numbers of honeybees, workers have to hand pollinate their crops, which is less efficient and produces lower yields. And now to talk about the pollination of sunflowers. The success of sunflower seeds and oil completely depends on honeybees. Seed yields increase by as much as 43% when visited by bees. According to the article Bees and Sunflower Pollination, honeybees pollinate sunflowers better when native bees are present. When interacting with native bees, they're five times more efficient with pollinating. And now on to Michael to continue. As we saw in class, bees are the primary pollinator of almonds. Many of these hives are provided by individuals whose sole income depends on this pollination industry. With colony health issues becoming prevalent, Brittany Goodrich published an article that detailed the economic impact of these health issues on beekeepers and how their ability to invest in colony health is detrimentally affected if they experience colony health issues prior to the almond bloom and are paid less for their colonies. This cycle may have long-term detrimental impact on the almond industry, which is totally reliant on bees. Another crop that is highly dependent on honeybee pollination is blueberries. According to the article by Isaacs and Kirk, it has been demonstrated in several studies that the overall yield of an individual weight of blueberries was increased dramatically if there was sufficient numbers of honeybees to pollinate the blooms. Another interesting piece of research by Arrington and DeVetter showed that in large blueberry fields, which are required for the mass production of blueberries, 89% of pollination was due to Apis mellifera. And now Chavez will speak about the pollination of watermelons. In an article by Garen Ternakis, watermelon as well as other cucumbers rely heavily on bee pollination for reliable fruit set and uniformity. Each female flower requires somewhere between 500 and 1,000 viable pollen grains for complete fertilization of ovules, which can take multiple visits by honeybees to achieve. This can occur in as little as one visit, but most typically a minimum of eight visits to the female flower is required. Native wild bees are slightly more efficient at pollinating watermelon flowers, but since they are not always present at crop sites, domestic honeybees are often rented to place in watermelon fields to increase fruit set and maximize potential yield. In conclusion, Honeybees are important pollinators of our ecosystem, and without them, our economy would perish. Without honeybee pollinators, we would experience a drastic shift in our diet, as many of our favorite and most desirable plant-based foods rely on honeybee pollination. 